Two, one, go. Put the line, put the line. Big top. Round and burst, play. It's a free curse for next season. Oh, that should be another oh, 7 15 minutes. Where's Moby? You don't have my granddad, bro. Where's Moby? Um, no, he's just done. He didn't start the watch, didn't count. That's what you said. Is that what he said? Of course. Yeah, well, of course. Yeah. Do you know the uh, session yet for this evening now? Um, I think it's like 10 fours or 12 fours or. Maybe How many fours you can last? 24s, yeah. I'd like 20. I'd, <laughs> I'd like 24s. It makes it like less quick, and I think it's kind of in my body doing 12, 24s. You know, it's get a bit more of a rhythm than 10 fours. It's a bit flat out, a bit cold tonight. But um, right, so you've yeah. been out for out of sessions for a little while on the track yeah. at least. So well, my last time I was on, the first time I was on the track was last Tuesday, and prior to that, I hadn't been on the track since Gateshead Diamond League back in June. So I was running on a stress response for like the whole season. So, well, I thought it was spin, so it wasn't ideal. But um, the main thing is I'm back now, uh, which is good. Hopefully, I can get a full winter in because uh, so I haven't had one of them for well last year wasn't a full winter. So um, yeah, it's going in the right direction. I'm doing stuff that I needed to do months, years ago, and stuff like you know proper gym sessions and stuff. So hopefully it will. Um, yeah, get me into being just better all round athlete. Really. Sure. Yeah, I've got my last try to catch this on the one. So you're doing 25 twos? I think so. We yeah. never find out until the one more done, but I think that's what's on the schedule. Actually, you know what kind of splits you want to hit for those, or is that increasing or keep it even? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I don't know, man. It, the winter is knackering me. I want to get through the session, hopefully around 31s, 32s, maybe some 30s, and we'll see how the body feels and as we get to halfway through, and then maybe push on, but see what happens. Nice. What shoes were you guys uh, warming up in? Um, these are the... Well, the New Balance 1080s uh, on the Premier shoes. <laughs> 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 well, I've got some new solar boots out just for this. <laughs> you researched that old Google before you came in. Dan wouldn't have a clue what he's wearing. <laughs> 1080s, they're 1080s. They're class. <laughs> new Balance, well, uh, it's supreme New Balance fresh road cushion uh, to keep the injury free over the winter. <laughs> is everyone else wearing spikes or is this... Uh... Um, like yeah, no, I reckon everyone will wear trainers. Well, they all have to wear Adidas because they can't get a hold of New Balance stuff. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. oh, 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 oh. I don't know, we'll see how this session goes. Because we want it, mate. <laughs> okay, there's two, four, six. Three, very usually. It's the kind of drills that you guys usually, yeah. usually do. I, yeah. five cents I do. don't really know this. Just listen to Barry. High knees, High knees. Kicks, fast. Don't video him, he doesn't have to do it. <laughs> Half quick knees, I know that. I know that one. <laughs> Back flip, try and reach for the lower back. <laughs> Canary Wharf in the background. Yeah. Do you mind taking me through who the guys that we have here this evening? Um, do these guys usually train together and uh, what kind of uh, group do we have here? Uh, Josh does normally train with them because he's a love for groups. So. Um, Sean Malloy, who's an age group record holder before Max Bergen took his record. Further, further. Uh, Enzi's um, down from Liverpool, he's production assistant. Um, Josh Lay, um, pretty decent, I think. <laughs> Stan Rowden, he's okay. And the other lad I'm not sure of, um, Victor, uh, has come over from Newham. Uh, he's training with us last year. Nice. And what's the... Uh, here, there's two different workouts for the, for the group this evening. Yeah, this tonight. So what we do traditionally, for up to December, we, um, we have a thing called a marker session. Right? So it starts uh, in 
uh, October with 20 by 200 off of 30 seconds. Then it goes 25 by 200, then 30 by 200. Rowden and um, a couple of the others, they, they, they come back to season late because of the Olympic stuff. Um, so they're on 25 by 200 now as a marker. So the next, uh, the 30 by 200 will take place in South Africa in January now. Um, so we do that and we just test the, we go, year on year we get marked like, so we can compare it. Tonight's not a bad night because it's very still, it's just cold. Um, so yeah, we use that year on year, just to, that's the only traditional thing we actually do. It's mm -hmm. a very traditional session. Um, then the second session tonight will be working with uh, Malloy and Lay. We'll be doing 400s, but led off of 90 seconds. So in the situation with uh, Josh Lay is we've got um, Josh is coming back from injury. He's very, very fit now, so he's in the best shape he's ever been in. But, um, we're trying to bring his speed onto him now, so kind of like 3k race speed, so we're going to do, he should hit 62 tonight over 4, and um, Malloy will help him out do that. Their session will be 400s off of 90 seconds, but they'll be using the guys in the twos to lead out the first two, Okay. so that will bring him on to like 30 around there, sure. 31, but we'll see. Through. It'll be a testing session I think. Um, but like I say, they all know it's a marker, so they've got something to compare against from last year, so... Um, and what's this in, in training for? Have they got something in the early in the new year or is that uh, a bit later after No, that? I mean, they're all getting ready for well, world championships, um, Europeans. Josh obviously will be aiming for the Worlds, but it's 15 on just quite hard. Um, so we're going to be looking for uh, Europeans for him. They really target the Europeans very strongly in the 1500s. And uh, well, the Worlds is obviously the big aim, that's where it's going to go for. The guys that are doing indoors aren't here, that's Luke Duffy and Asama Meslek, who you were with Asama the other week, I think. Yeah, yeah. the leads. Yeah. So, let's so tell me what session he done, yeah. because the one I said. Yeah, they're, get, they're both running indoors, so some will go to Italy. Uh, 1500 or 3k, I'm not sure yet. Maybe. And Luke, well, I think. I think it's 3.39 for the world qualifier for the indoors. I think Luke would do that pretty easy. But we need to be hard for them tonight. But the weather's it's just, it's just cold. So. Yeah, there's pretty much zero wind. Yeah. But, uh, um, and will you want them to start start pushing it earlier? Or is this really, as you said, do you want them to be finishing finishing strong? How would you like them to pace it? I don't run evenly, I hope. Yeah? Yeah, thanks. Um, I want them to do... Uh, if they, if they can hit round 30, that will be a good session. Uh, it will be very testing as well. The Addy stars like, just look like... They're just a much bigger stack height, haven't they? So they look pretty cool. So we're taking off the, uh, the solar boosts. Yeah, for any nerds, these are my orthotics I have in my everyday shoe. And are these in My other ones. And these are the Adios Pros? Uh, yeah. We usually uh, do track yeah, stuff in these or harder sessions? Or? Um, I do most things in Takumis or spikes, pretty much. Um, <laughs> but yeah, for any falls or anything over, and if it's not that quick, probably these. Save the legs a little bit as well, yeah, especially sure. after I've been coming back from sort of like a stress injury I need to. But yeah, so these will just help soften the blow of any sort of part of my body. And how long have you been with Adidas? Uh, pretty much a year, like around a year from like last year basically. Um, so, um, yeah, so far they've been brilliant to be honest. They've gotten me everything that I've needed. Um, like helping towards camps and stuff as well. Just to let, well, I'm still at uni at the moment, but it'll allow me to go full time after, which is nice. perfect just to sort of, you know, give it a, a good shot. I suppose you've only got one shot at it, shot yeah. at it haven't you? And, you know, not worrying about financial stuff's the ideal situation, really. I guess it's quite nice with the UK unis being able to, to have a, a yeah. sponsor as oh, well yeah, compared, to, the, yeah. compared like, to elsewhere. I, I, yeah, it just means, I suppose, the other way around, it either forces people to stay in college at America or forces them to drop out sooner, I suppose. One day you'll be positive. <laughs> One day you'll be positive. I might take half hour. Doing this uh, third one. Listen up. Um, 
on the twos, make sure you come off the track or go outside because Sean and uh, Josh will be coming through. Three. 25 twos off a of 30. The guys are on fours. How many? See how many you can over 10, 12, I don't know, whatever. Just get you through it. You've got, you've got Olympic pacemakers tonight. Yeah, hold up. Yeah, got tattoo um, on as well for it. Yeah, inspired. <laughs> Watch it. 25 twos won't be, won't be easy. Make sure you do it, okay? The marker session, let's have it better than the last one. All right, it's going to come round, okay. Let's go. Okay, ready, boys? <laughs> this is on the front, man. They've only got 30 seconds now. Ready, two, ready to go. Can we be done? So this is going to be number 19 coming up for you. 
Yeah. Head you up. Three, two, one. Come on, guys, we're the first one. Come on. Come on, Andy. Is that ten? Get together. I got, I got, I got. Ready? Close, just come. Down one, down one! Let's go, come so, on! It's about a second per rapid to take all the layers off. Let's go, let's go! Let's go, let's go! Yeah. Let's go, come on, come on! Come on, Daniel! Come on, come on! Come on, come on! Come on, come on! Come on, come on! Five seconds. Three, two, one. Come on, Josh, go on, do it. Good, Josh. Let's go now. Come on, Josh. Round and first play. It's a free curse for the next season. Let's go. Come on. They talk nice. Nice, nice. Good job, Josh. Good job. Cheers, mate. You're done. You think so? You're right. Yeah. It's done, yeah? Well done, Josh. Cheers, mate. That wasn't pretty. How many? I think it went. Yeah. For where I'm at, it wasn't bad at all. Um, I did 2200s last Tuesday, or 30 seconds in. I think like 30.2. I've just done, uh, I mean, it was 14 or what, 14 400s. Off a minute in 62, so it's actually not bad. It sort of works out proportionally to last week and a bit longer. And I didn't crack as much as I did last week, I blew up completely. But my last one was embarrassing. This week it wasn't so bad. Uh, I felt I felt tired, but I probably could have done a couple more. So yeah, uh, um, but yeah, that was all right. Help with all the boys here as well, because it just takes the pressure off the first 200. It just allows you to focus on the last 200 when you're most tired. So no, it was good. And what's your training looking like at the moment? So the track yeah. session today. What will the rest of your week typically so, look like? So tomorrow I've got cross train gym and I think a six mile recovery run. And then what we on to Thursday? I've got hills. Yeah, hills on Thursday and just a, another jog or something. And then Friday I've got, I can't remember if it was Friday or Saturday, one of the days I've got like nine times 75 seconds and then Sunday long run. Sometimes we do back-to-back -back sessions on Thursday, Friday, Saturday is then like a big gym session. So we gym like three times a week. I'm on like 50, 45, 50 miles now. There's still a lot of um, cross training involved just to offload where we can. I'd rather do, you know, like a 60 minute bike than a four mile run just for damage limitations at the moment. I'm, I'm at a point now where I'm twice as strong as I've ever been. So hopefully it will allow me to be more resilient and soak up the training loads to run 3.30. Four, I there we go. I'll be embarrassed if I don't there we run. go. I'll be embarrassed if I don't run 335 next year, I'll put it that way. There we go. How's the uh how's the session done? Good? Uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. It's cold, it's a bit miserable, but we got through it as a group. So I can't complain. Times were kind of what I'd been expecting. We did the same session or similar session three weeks ago. Um and this was better than three weeks ago. It's always a session that I really struggled to get through. Mentally, but this is probably the best one yet. So, progress is what you can ask for. What's the uh, the rest of the week looking like? Uh, cool. 
So yeah. Two from now. Tomorrow, gym. Uh, I had a decent amount of cardio. Cross training and a run. Thursday. Thursday's a lighter day. Uh, cross training and then a run. Friday, Christmas Eve is quite heavy. We've got hills in the morning and then tempo in the evening. Um, and then got Christmas Day off. So. Christmas Day off? Yeah, yeah. You've got soft. You gay gay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How the uh, session went this evening? It was alright, yeah. Josh was quite okay, decent, so wasn't he? Second the, um, on back yeah, from uh, second workout now. Um, quite interesting, 62, 64. Um, off a minute, so obviously got shape, in he? I mean, interesting what he runs 5k in February if he gets you know, a good January in, in Africa. Um, Rowden was good. You could tell, like, you know they've had a good session because they're quite upbeat, so it's quite positive. Some of the lads are struggling because they're coming back from illness and stuff, but yeah, overall it's a good session. And, uh, no, a marker and they know, like I think he said to you, um, three weeks ago doing that session should be four weeks roughly, but um, he's improved and he knows that now. Yeah. So that mentally helps him as well because that month on month progression. So he's seen that. I think Josh has run well there. Making sure they get ready for the next phase, which will be um, South Africa in January for training. So, going to get an extra second just by changing the way that they're thinking in that two to three section. And yeah, you kept saying attack yeah. the attack the burns. Yeah, it's because they were dropping on that 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 uh, two to three section, but that also comes into racing as well. Because if you know where to where the the places that you need to work, you know and what sections you need to work in, you, you're, you're gonna apply it to racing and, and understand it a lot better. Um, and after all, training isn't just about running reps, it's about preparing to race. No, thanks, for, thanks for having us down. No, you're welcome. It's good to have you down.